Now that we've used Avogadro's number for a few problems, why is it such a weird number? Where does 6.022 times 10 to the 23 come from? It turns out that if you have a mole of particles, the mass of that sample will be whatever the atomic mass of the substance is in grams. So, if you have a mole of carbon, well, the atomic mass of carbon is 12.011 AMUs. So one atom has a mass of 12.011 AMU. If you have a mole of carbon, if you have Avogadro's number of carbon atoms, the mass turns out to be 12.011 grams. The mass of one mole of a sample is the atomic mass expressed in grams. And the reason that works is that Avogadro's number is basically the inverse of converting AMU to grams. If you have a mole of iron, iron has an atomic mass of 55.845 AMU, so one mole is 55.845 grams. A mole of magnesium would be 24.305 grams. Water is two hydrogens and one oxygen, so oxygen is about 16, hydrogen is one, so one plus one plus 16 gives you a molar mass of about 18 grams. But then oxygen in its pure form is diatomic, so though a single oxygen atom would have a mass of 16, a mole of oxygen molecules would have a mass of 32 grams. At first, it might seem weird that moles can be different sizes and have different masses, but if we go back to our examples of a dozen, and we go back to the hardware store, we know that a dozen nails might have a different size than a dozen nails. The size of the dozen is based on the size of the individual units, and the size of a mole is based on the size of the individual particles. So let's try some more conversions. Let's say I have 5.66 moles of calcium. What's the mass of that sample? You've seen in our earlier conversions how important it is to have a calculator. It's equally as important to have a periodic table handy. The question that we were just asked was about calcium. And if I look at calcium on the periodic table, I see that one mole of calcium is equivalent to 40.078 grams. So whenever we have an equivalence like this, we can do two conversion factors. I could say one mole for every 40.078 grams or 40.078 grams for every one mole. And the problem, we were given 5.66 moles of calcium and asked to solve for mass. So I'm gonna use a conversion factor that has moles on the bottom so that I can cancel out. So I'm gonna put 40.078 grams over one mole. Moles cancel out. And when all is said and done, I get 226.84. Looking at three sig figs, I'm going to say 227 grams of calcium.